of course, we all want to be successful business owners. And if that is you too, well, you are in luck. Today, I'm going to show you the rituals of some of the most successful entrepreneurs out there and how you can adopt them in your own life for massive success. But this is not the type of podcast that's going to tell you that you need to get up at 5 a.m. every day and you're going to say, okay, well, that's great, but who's going to look after my kids? We are going to assess this from a normal person's perspective. Welcome to the Financial and Lifestyle Freedom Podcast. Hey there, my name is Annette Ferguson and I am CEO of Annette & Co, a UK-based accounting firm. I am a chartered accountant, certified profit first professional and small business growth strategist. And if you're tuning into this episode today, then I'm guessing that you too want to be a successful business owner just like me. And guess what? It may not be as hard as you think. All you need is some simple rituals that will help increase your productivity and help catapult you to success, whatever that looks like for you. So sit back, relax, and let's go through how it's done. In this episode, I want to specifically look at the things that you're able to do when you also have children and a life. Because lots of things that people are sharing, like getting up at 5 a.m. and working till 11 p.m., are really just not reasonable when you have a family. So let's look at the list. Number one, and you may think that this is an odd thing to start with, but this is something that is so incredibly important, and that is exercise. Healthy body, healthy mind is absolutely true. Making sure that you get your body moving, whether it's walking, running, the gym or yoga, getting your blood pumping a few times a week really does help your productivity. And I know if you're anything like me, when you are in a very busy period and you feel overwhelmed, the last thing you might feel like you have time to do is to actually pull on a pair of trainers and go and exercise. However, it actually helps you to come back feeling energized and rejuvenated. And of course, looking after yourself is great for your kids to see too. Number two, when you work, make it focused time. You might not be able to work 15 hours a day or may not even want to, and that's okay. I don't work 15 hours a day either. I do have a list of things that is long enough so that I could, but I don't. I have kids and I want to spend time with them. That means that when I am working, I have to be very focused and very organized. How I do this is through time blocking. Time blocking is a great way to stay focused. That means putting chunks of time in your diary to focus on the most important things and holding up those appointments with yourself as if they were appointments with anyone else. And I am a big list writer, so I know what needs to be done and when to make sure I get everything done. I still write lists in a paper diary, I know, incredibly old school, but it's the way that I have found that I can focus the most and not get tied up in bits of technology, even though typically I am a big technology person. And number three, Finish on time to spend time with your family. Have those boundaries in place between work and home. It will nourish your soul and it will mean that you get more productive when you are at work. And number four, going to bed early enough to get seven or eight hours sleep a night. No business owner or parent for that matter is going to be productive as they need to be if they are scrimping on sleep. I know that when I don't get enough sleep, that is when I feel at my most overwhelmed. It's when, let's face it, I am most ratty with my children as well. So scrimping on sleep to work overall does not have a positive effect for me. When I do that, I'm tired and lethargic at work as well, and I'm just not as focused and productive as when I get enough sleep. So getting enough sleep does really help with my productivity throughout the day and makes me a slightly more bearable errand at the same time. 
Emulating the rituals of successful business owners with kids can help you find a balance and achieve the success that you want in your own business and life. While it may not be possible to perfectly replicate another person's schedule, understanding how they approach their day-to-day can give you some insight into how you might think about structuring some of your own time. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Financial and Lifestyle Freedom podcast today. If you did get a value from this session, do please make sure that you leave us a review in whichever podcast player you happen to be listening in today. And whilst you are in there as well, do make sure that you subscribe to this podcast so that you know next time we release a new episode. Take care. Speak soon.